Scars here, in my opinion, is actually really good against Night Elf. Um, oh, yeah. Despite as much as people say um, that Night Elf has always been tricky for Orc. Um, and if you ask him, if, like, if you hang out with him in, in Discord, he will tell you length and length why he hates the, the matchup, but he's still <laughs> pretty good at it. Yeah. No, he is. He actually has a really sick win rate against, uh, against Night Elf in particular. He's known for a lot of different styles. Um, in particular, Farseer Naga style with Raiders, which I oh, really yeah. appreciate. But we're actually going to see here the Blade Master opener here with double barracks. And that kind of suggests to me that Scars is going to go for a pretty heavy creeping opener here, most likely with Mirror Image, which has been quite popular recently. And Scars himself pretty much is kind of addicted to this skill, oh, yeah. to be honest. He absolutely loves Mirror he Image. He adapted it super early in the meta, one of the first, I guess. Yeah. He pretty much incorporated it straight away, I think, after yeah. the last patch uh, right that away. we received. And yeah. Trunks, in the meantime, he's known for playing the Demon Hunter. Uh, pretty much his standard choice. And here we go on Northern Isles here, commencing with the Tuscar uh, Orange camp here with Ancient of War. Pretty easy camp nowadays to take, I would say, with Demon Hunter and Immolation. Um, the only trouble is, is that Immolation, of course, pretty mana and Moonwell intensive. So hopefully Trunks goes for a third Moonwell before tech. We'll see. Yeah. And Scars did indeed, in the end, pick that mirror image. So we see, should, should see some creeping commencing from him momentarily. And there it is. Good old mirror image. Almost looks like a meme to see mirror image in 2023, right? It feels like, so weird, but it's so strong. I, I mean, if, if we look at the meta a few months back before, um, before the last patch, we saw so many Ancient of Winds plays, the talents were supreme. And all of a sudden, this simple spell changes the whole meta in, uh, in the gameplay. So we expect to see lores uh, by Trunks in the end, um, into bears probably with and, and it's the second thing, right? It's not only mirror image, it is Thorn's aura that will probably also come into play in such matchups nowadays, which is completely weird to see two spells <laughs> in there. there. There were memes all yeah. the way. Yeah. No, no, it's totally... It's, it's amazing how much Warcraft has changed over the years. But, you know, yeah. the, some of the patches we've received have indeed started some sort of meta developments. And um, the Thorn's aura, as you mentioned as well, also recently buffed. We might also see Naga out of trunks, though, so we'll wait and see until tier two there. Um, of what hero is going to pick. Um, Scars here, starting off with not the best items. We've got Ring of Superiority. We'll see um, what the second item is when he picks that up. Perhaps he's actually just going to neglect that right now. Ah, sorry, he had the replenishment, uh, replenishment potion uh, from the, the, the big Morlock camp. And Trunks, in the meantime, Sentry Ward's quite useful against Blade, it has to be said. Yeah. Would you expect, would you expect a level 3 uh, aggression from Scar's end, or would you say that Trunks will be on the uh, offensive side earlier than him? Well, judging by the tech timings here a little bit, Scar's is quite a bit ahead. So I feel like he has a window to make something happen and then try to creep the Shadow Hunter behind. Certainly. Um, yeah. If that is the hero that we're going to see. And Trunks, you know, his tech is pretty late. Um, but the good thing, of course, is that you can buy Naga from the tavern and it's instantly yeah. available. So that sort of equalizes the difference there. Yeah, it feels that the, the very first second the Naga comes out is in the middle of the map. She, she feels weak uh, when the Blade Master is, is actually scouting that and uh, is looking for her in, in the very beginning. But she scales yeah. so well in the first few minutes. Yeah, Naga, honestly, is quite a staple pick for quite a few matchups these days. Yeah. Actually, I'm a bit of surprised here to see Scars buy the Boots of Speed. That is definitely an interesting choice. Quite an expensive investment an at this investment. stage of the game. Yeah. Um, hopefully, can, Scars can make something work with those Boots, because it's going to be a little bit tough against this Demon Hunter level 3, who has level 2 emulation, which is rather powerful indeed. But the greater healing pot for the Blade is going to be amazing for any mid-game skirmishes. Oh, yeah. Both level 3 at this point. Um, no, like, th this matchup at the beginning is... Some people would call it slow, but it's very creep intense, right? Both yeah. choosing the defensive route to get their level 3 secured, get the middle for the Naga at least on, on Trunks' end, and Scars is picking the aggression you mentioned uh, before the Shadowhunter comes out. Yeah, although Scars, I'm not entirely sure what he hopes to accomplish with the blade. Perhaps he wants to keep the item creeping going. Yes, here we are. Uh, so the Ogre oh, yeah. is being taken at this very moment. On it. Um, obviously, Scar's hoping for a pretty good item there, maybe class plus eight. Ooh. And there is, the, <laughs> as we see, the class plus eight on the side of Trunks right now as well. It's pretty strong, and it is indeed the Keeper second. Nice call, Flush Finger. Well, uh, somebody could say I tried to watch some replays of Trunks last second because I haven't <laughs> seen him play for so long. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of la last-minute preparation coming yeah. in handy right there, I think. And yeah, it's, it's double lures for Night Out, which is definitely to be expected with uh, Demon Hunter yeah. Oper plus the Keeper. Um, I'm just curious if it will be mass dryads or if it will be tier three bears. I'd, I would more likely lean towards bears for trunks, I think. Yeah, but he needs the time, uh, like 
I, I watched a few plays from him, and, and he usually goes then, as we discussed before this game, for two Dryads and then into Bears. For that, you need some kind of a buffer zone to get to Tier 3, to get the Bears running, and I'm not sure if Scarus is that patient with him. Uh, as we can see, he tries to cancel the first lore, which would delay his Bears even further. And I'm not sure if we would see that many Bears if Scars is actually um, putting him under more pressure. Yeah, Scars with exceptional timing here, getting that first Lord Cancellation. There is the Mirror Image to dispel the Entangle. Such a great counter to that spell as well. It's not only just strong for creeping and also uh, dealing a little bit of chip damage as well, but getting out of those sticky situations against the Keeper yeah. Entangle is also pretty amazing. Would you say a push on, on the Burrows would be Trunks' main goal to, to just get uh, the base race with the Bears rolling? Or how would you see the late game for Trunks in the, in the perfect world uh, rolling out? Well, it's a little bit tough for Trunks, actually, right now, because Scars with that tech lead, he's already got the level 2 Shadowhunter online. Everything feels like it's coming together nicely for Scars. Trunks, in the meantime, his wood isn't looking fantastic. The second lore is incredibly late. So he has to try and delay the creeping of the Shadow, Shadow Hunter, but the Entangle goes on the wrong mirror image Ooh. here. A little bit of an unusual move. I don't feel like the Entangle was really needed here, it has to be said. There's another mirror image being popped. The cooldown is so short. Already. Yeah. The, the, move, the, the cooldown on mirror image is so short yeah. these days as well, yeah. so it just comes up right away. And the Keeper are kind of struggling a little Ooh, bit, gets staffed nice home. Sure, there's plenty of moon juice back at base right now. And the Demon Hunter of Trunks is pretty tanky, though, and does have Anchor yeah. Reincarnation, but, I mean, so it's just, pretty safe. Just check the supply. I mean, if Scars actually puts down more pressure after this creep, this is a hard time for, for Trunks with 26 supply. Not much going on for him in the base at this point. De uh, lores were delayed. Let's see if he gets his supply running. This looks kind of grim, doesn't it? We've got yeah. the Shadow Hunter at 2.9 already. I really like... Um, Scar's approach with the Serpent Wars here, just to help speed up the creeping. I think yeah. this Ancient War oh, didn't quite give level 3, but it was quite close. Close to it, yeah. Heal Scroll prepared as well. Maybe it's time to pull the pee on, boys, and just Just, just go in for it. Yeah, why wouldn't he? I mean, um, we have to be realistic that, um, that Scar's is kind of the favorite to such a game, but he plays it rather safe. He's not being cocky with it. There's no uh, super risky plays. He's even going for the Expo, so he's yeah. not trying to close it, the game at this point. Oh, beautiful surrender with the Serpent Ward we're seeing right now. Trunks being forced to use Staff on the Demon Hunter immediately. The Moon Wells are pretty dry, though. That's okay. A little bit dicey for Trunks here. Has to pop that Heal Potion right away. Should buy another one. Orb of Venom going on the Keeper as well here to help with the damage. And I think Scars here is just hitting a pretty much impeccable timing. We don't even have Adept training online for these bears right now, Flushfinger. Yeah, I think he might be questioning his export choice here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it certainly feels like uh, Scars has a window just to tower and end the game here, yeah. but we'll see. He's playing One it safe. One is going down, close to it. Even two of them. Soon enough, but the Anchor of Reincarnation was triggered there for the Demon Hunter. He's doing a great job tank tanking at the front lines here. The Shadow oh, actually yeah. not really getting a kill yet for that level 3. Those crucial level 2 Serpent Wars, of course, yeah. would be awesome right now, especially against the Dryas that are out at the moment. And Master Training is still a good 40 seconds away yeah. here. It's going to be tough to get that online. In and fact, Scars doesn't even have the feeling that, that he has to close the game at this point, right? So this is just for him delaying, 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 and then rather fun, I guess, at this point, because he has all the options in his hand, while Trunks is actually playing for his life. Yeah, exactly. This is the sort of position you never want to find yourself in. Not only is your opponent beating you inside of your own base or forcing you to stay there, but he's also setting up an economic advantage, which Scars is yeah. doing magnificently right now. Trunks, oh. quite close to level 2 here. The bear, though, is going to go down. Did have the rejuvenation on the Demon Hunter beforehand. Potion being triggered as well. Man, the consumables that Trunks is blowing through right now. Yeah, insane. But he's up to 30 still. He's getting the grunts, uh, actually, and, and also the raider. So he's getting the kills. Not much that Scars is being able to pull out of this fight, but still the time is running for him at this point at least until the expo is up. Look at the corpses at the base. Oh yeah. They're, Just they're, imagine. They're piling up, the corpse yeah. pile is building up. <laughs> That's quite horrific to watch actually. Another, oh, level four, another ground falling at this point. I think Scars uh, correctly identified here. This is just time to get out. I think yeah. he did more than enough damage. The expo, in fact, you know, orc expos take a really long time to come up, 150 totally. seconds. Yeah. And it's pretty much nearly done. So that yeah. just shows you Scars was in Trunks' base for about two minutes there, just pushing him in. Yeah. And, and he got all of it. I mean, yeah. uh, the Moon Wells, the Serpent Wars were doing so much DPS on the buildings in the background. I mean, he invested a lot as well, but it was totally worth it. If we compare supply, it's still the same delta uh, than when he started with, and he was investing into an expo parallel to that. Yeah. Plus the macro damage that he put in down there. So that is phenomenal play from Scars to this point. 
Yeah, Trunks needs needs a little bit of a miracle here to get back into this game. Um, the, any hope of building a counter expansion, I would say, is kind of off the table. Oh yeah, certainly. Uh, it feels like Trunks really will have to just go for an all-in, but the trouble is he's been supply blocked for so long, he's been unable yeah. to start that production. We need basically two bears to start right away. Get the Wisp with him, drain the mana of the casters and the heroes, yeah. try his best, because he killed quite a few um, grunts that put down a lot of DPS. There's a lot of mana-heavy units here for, for Scars, so that might be the only issue to, or the only chance to maybe get a lucky uh, kill down here, but look at the items. I mean, yeah. there's a heal scroll, there's an invul, there's Double Ring of Region on the Dude, plate, Rust, or whatever. Regeneration. <laughs> that is absolutely that is insane. insane. 4 yeah. HP per second as well, on top yeah. of the natural regeneration that he has. It must be like 5 or 6 health a second. It's such an insane <laughs> item. Yeah. But look at that. I mean, he's getting down some kills on these peons. And it's like, I mean, the Orb, the orb of Venom is actually super great to get some time off yeah. to get the, the kills and the DPS on, on such units. Well, nice heal wave here. It's actually heal wave level 2, by the way, for the Shadow oh, Hunter yeah. right now. Demon Hunter staffing at the Keeper nicely. Oh. Nice, there nice. we go. Four misses at That's the end insane. there. That's crazy. Four misses in a row. Well, I don't think it would have made the difference, but still. I if, mean, you're, if you're back that far, you need some luck at, at, at some <laughs> point. I mean, you have to gamble at, to some point. I, I think it's only fair, right? Yeah. And drugs here. I mean, he did. He did some decent damage. It has to be said. He did. Uh, it was. Was it two peasants? Uh, two peons, right? One was healed by the heal wave, I think. Yeah. One. One managed to just be healed yeah. at the last second there, and it did interrupt the mining time at the very so, least, even if yeah. the peon didn't die. Uh, and we got three bears up. Yeah. The army isn't looking too shabby for trunks, but the trouble is scars. He's at 58 supply oh, already. Yeah. Keeper's being focused straight away. Is there something to save? And the staff is actually on cooldown currently for the demon hunter, so the keeper needs to be really careful. And there's no consumables in the side of Trunks anymore. So his Demon Hunter, whatever damage he takes. And it's such a, it's, it, there's no choke. It's open space against yeah. such an orc army. Horrible situation for Trunks to, to be in. That's the thing with Northern Isles. These bases yeah. are so wide open outside of your immediate vicinity of the base. So yeah. the orc can just set up serpent wards, get this huge concave. The walkers exactly. at the back do amazing DPS yeah. against the bears. The Kodos, hungry, hungry Kodos are getting in there for the devourers, I think. Oh, second oh, one didn't quite one? go off, actually. Yeah. There we go. Both code, uh, Three Kodos have actually been eaten. The whole army is <laughs> gone. It's just, just from the Kodos. It's the digested fish trigger right now. But that should be it, man. That should be it. Last stand here for Trunks. His supply looks good, but bear in mind there's 12 food in the bellies of those Kodos right now. The Demon Hunter is stuck between a bit of a rock and a hard place right oh, now, being staffed, staffed out again. But I think Trunks maybe is running out of gas a little bit here. He needs some health potions to get the Demon Hunter back in the front lines a little bit. The Moonwells here looking super dry. Got a few kills coming out on the side of Trunks as well. But yeah. Scars, he's just he's standing firm. He has the, the, the dual economy in the back. Level 2 critical strike unlocked. Keeper just dies to the side. So, so if you would be Trunks' coach for GG uh, for, for match 2, what, what kind of tips would you give him? <laughs> GG. Nice game there from Scars. That was great. Well, guys, uh, I'd have to say it was a pretty solid opener indeed. Trunks, I'm not entirely sure what I wanted to accomplish exactly here. The tech difference was so big, the Keeper felt really unimpactful in the mid-game. Yeah. And I think he might have expected a, a more aggressive approach from Scars, mm. because Scars really took his time for level 3 even. He went all the way back for the item, even yes. though he went for grunt um, proxy creeping, and he still went all the way, went to the gold mine. So I think maybe Trunks expected a more aggressive approach from him, so that's why he... Ex uh, delay his ex tech maybe a little bit here and there, but yeah, yeah. It, it feels like if there was a lot more skirmishing, yeah, then the keeper would have had some use potentially. But because Scars wanted to just play super passive, I think Trunks maybe needed to look towards creeping a panda up potentially, a different hero that at least has some immediate power on level one and level three, just to help carry that game. Because yeah. in the end, uh, a level one keeper isn't going to do much with Entangle, especially against Mirror oh, no. Image and the, no the, the Spirit Walker dispel yeah, well, as well. We saw all the Entangles going into nothingness. It always felt that Trunks was punching, but uh, Scars was dodging every single one of them. It was really good. This, this was a great opening for him into the tournament. Let's see. Yeah. Love the strategy. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what we'll see in yeah. game two, to be honest. There needs to be some adaptation from the offside for sure. Well, um, I mean, maybe Demon Hunter. I would expect it, at least that he tries it. He's with his back against the wall. Mm -hmm. Demon Hunter is kind of the meta. It's easier to control in such environments to some degree. I mean, I get Northern Isles and Keeper. Yeah. Um, but if we see a different map, maybe a shorter one, a smaller one, I don't know what map 2 actually is, but um, I would expect Demon Hunter, certainly. 
Yeah, we'll find out when the next game commences what the map will be. Who's your partner for map number two? Actually, it is time to bring on our second partner, I think, just so we can get prepared here before uh, the next map begins. I'm sure the players are itching to get ready. All right, perfect. Guys, game two, we're heading in. Scar's here, 1-0 ahead. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, there he's coming. There's a lag from Trunks, and I say thank you guys. Take care. Have a nice evening. See each other. Thanks, Jackie. And I'll hand over. So, here we are, guys. Game two, and I will be joined by another new caster, Death Knight. Thank you. How are you doing, mate? Uh, a bit drunk. <laughs> well, you, uh, you enjoy this series here between Trunks and Scars. Have you seen these uh, two players play a lot together? Uh, not quite. They're one of the first times I see. But okay. a lot of times uh, I would see in Elf Discord like some games, uh, Orc vs. Elf, Elf vs. Undead, and so on. What did you think of game one from Scars' side? Uh, I couldn't see the game quite well where I was watching. It was I see. like potato quality. <laughs> I see. Well, Scars um, managed to hit a really nice timing, set up an expansion behind against Trunks, and Trunks went for a keeper second, which felt kind of slow into the style that yeah. uh, Scars was playing with the book of a quicker tech, and in the end it just felt like Scars could overrun Trunks with his army. Yeah. And we're going to see, I imagine, pretty much the exact same opener here. We have a double burrow opener from Scars, the blade and the grunt once again. A little bit of chip damage there on that Wisp is always nice. Costs a little bit of Lumber, though, for the Orc. And Trunks, with his favorite, the Demon Hunter, coming up once again, starting with, what is it, the standard creep on Tide Hunters. And uh, did you try to explain to people why they, they pick uh, Keeper of the Grove? Or no? If they want to expand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also beneficial for the Thornsora versus Blade Master. Yeah. The later a game goes, the better... Uh, with the keeper it is. Yeah, I've had some games with uh, level 3 Thorns Aura myself, yeah. and it's unbelievably powerful against the yes. Blade Master. It gets pretty ridiculous, actually, uh, but as the game goes on. But the trouble is getting that expansion up with Demon Hunter isn't yes. quite as easy um, compared to a keeper first, though. And yeah, emulation does help tremendously, though, in the early game creeping for Trunks. Maybe Tight Hunters is the map to try an early expansion creep on. It's such an easy camp yes. to get the expo down. But uh, great early game items for both players, gloves, gloves, and Trunks probably would prefer maybe get the ring instead of like second gloves. Yeah, gloves is one of those items that's really good when you've got a lot of DPS already, you know, like other claws yeah. and maybe circulate in the past. But getting two, it doesn't feel super impactful in no, the early game, it has not, to be said. Not that amazing. The Blade Master here for Scars, hitting level two as he should, critical strike almost certainly, the second skill being picked, and ring of protection here. Decent for, for trading Agility Hero against Agility Hero, but uh, I think not the best items in the world to yeah. kick things off. You may get lucky to buy something good from the shop, maybe if it sells the ring. Yeah. Yeah, of Tight Hunters, of course, is a map with both the Goblin Merchant and the Marketplace. So there's definitely plenty of opportunities here to buy new items. Um, circlets from the Goblin Merchant, for example, yes. from the Marketplace, you can get all kinds of different items. And also really good that we have the merchant. You can, if someone keeps some other camp, you can see uh, the drop right away on, in the shop. Yeah. So you know who, what he crept. Yeah, absolutely. So mantle of intelligence here for Scars from the third yeah. camp. Both players progressing towards level three once again. Another passive early game between the yeah. two players. Um, the tech difference is though a little bit closer compared to last game. Hopefully that helps Trunks manage you know, to, to enable him to get sort of a better timing with the second hero, because last game, the experience difference between the Keeper and the Shadow Hunter was just huge. Yeah, yeah but the Shadow Hunter can creep way faster because of the Serpent Wards. Yeah. Yeah, the Serpent Wards now, since ever since they were changed, are obviously a lot stronger. Yes. Uh, both for creeping and, of course, for pushing your opponent as well. They're just, uh, they're crazy good uh, when you can uh, get the setup right. Especially if you feel the boost from uh, level two, especially the damage, it's like, one word is almost the same as one uh, water elemental standing still. <laughs> well, the thing is, is the cooldown is so short, right? So yeah. you can just start stacking up the snake pit, as we love to as we yeah. love to call it, and it just becomes overwhelming over time. Yeah, it's like you can stack up like at uh, six or seven snakes if you're possible, but try to enter that is uh, a lot of times suicide. Yeah. Oh, trunks. I don't know if this camp oh. is going to be the right choice here. It might be. This is very unexpected, to yeah. be honest. 
Oh, Scars doesn't find this. This is a pretty huge play here from Trunks. He's going to get a lot of experience. He does have full inventory, though, so he has to drop something for the new item that he's picking up. Gloves with haste. A reasonable choice, I would yeah. say. Circle of Nobility for the Demon Hunter is, of course, amazing. Oh, not so amazing compared to other items you could have gotten there. This what would you have preferred to see personally, Death Knight? Uh, probably like Klaus plus 8, maybe Ring of Protection to be better, plus 5. Like uh, maybe a pendant of uh, health. It's like a uh, circle that I would say is uh, kind of one of the worst drops you could get besides Crystal Ball. <laughs> and maybe uh, uh, Amulet of Evasion could be good because it's like uh, five percent extra. It doesn't stack, but it's like overwhelms the the passive. Yes, and it's fifteen percent base if you choose to not go with evasion, yeah. obviously. But we do have yeah. that level one evasion for trunks. No mana burn actually. So the demon hunter is going to be tanking, doing a lot of damage. Yeah. But the trouble is controlling the shadow hunter is really important in these yeah. engagements. Looks like Scars will be really aggressive this time. Try to uh, catch the keeper creeping and or the kill the archers. And it looks like he wants to hunt down the archers based on the boots on the Blamemaster. It's easier to catch the units. Oh, the Keeper is in a lot oh. of danger here, though. We have Hex coming out first from the Shadow Hunter. Crit coming from the Illusion actually doing a lot of damage. The Keeper here just being caught completely out of position. The Demon Hunter wasn't here to help his hoofed friend. And he goes down right oh. away. And the archers, I think, oh, are just God. going to get massacred here, to be honest. I think this could be even a game. Because this is a really big damage. He may get cancel uh, one of the lures as well. This is absolutely huge right now for Scars. His timings are so good against Elf. He knows what he's doing this man and in this matchup. The lore wasn't even cancelled. All the resources are down the drain. Yeah, the if you right notice uh, Scars natural, he's also expanding at the same time while he's doing this. So this is a really uh, strong push and having expansion in the back is uh, even better. Yeah, we're seeing shades of last game right now. Oh, Blade having to trigger the info potion right now. Oh, don't tell me the Keeper is going to be dead again. We don't have Hex on the side uh, of Scars right now. He is able to um, keep chasing the Keeper, though. The, keep, uh, the Blade Master is healing up right now while being under the effects of the invulnerability potion. If you yeah. didn't know you could do that, it's huge for the Blade, getting that free healing while being invulnerable. And as you said, you know, we have the counter expansion coming up anyway for Scars. Trunks, he does have an expo coming as well, but it's still a long ways off of being ready. Oh, being forced into buying an info potion to use it straight away is a big feels bad, man, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but uh, I would say maybe it's better to lose the keeper because it's like cheaper than Invo and it's get back uh, pretty quick. Oh, the demon hunter fighting himself a little bit of trouble here, but Scar's not able to keep the surround closed with that first ensnare. And uh, how much of the mana has the Shadow Hunter, I wonder, for the Hex? It yeah. should be pretty close now. Yeah, maybe a Wisp Detonation will be required here. We do see the Detonate go down, but the Keeper is... Oh, there we go. The Grunt manages to get the last hit. The Blade is in a little bit of danger, potentially. The Archers are coming for the block. Oh, oh. the Archers didn't manage to keep the Blade Master inside the base. That would have been a huge play for Trunks. Scars, though, he, throwing a few units away, but I think he feels comfortable with this, knowing yes. that he's got the second base. Yeah, he's building already the second bar there, and she should be getting uh, reinforced defenses. It would... Uh, make it a bit easier to hold versus uh, piercing damage. Yeah. Oh, Blade Master starting with the miss there. A few misses coming out, actually. Heal Scroll being popped. Pretty expensive for Scars right now. Yes. There's the last set of illusions as well. And Scars, he just needs to get out of dodge. And uh, by the way, if no one knew, the illusions actually give XP. So it's That's actually right. quite good for the Demon Hunter getting close to level 5. It's good that you point that out, actually, because we see for Trunks, he has a 4.6 Demon Hunter already. That's actually yes. pretty intimidating. Yeah, but uh, the problem is that uh, Keeper keeper needs that level 2 aura. It's true, but I think Trunks should be able to get it with a few creep camps here. And Scars, I mean, unlike last game, he didn't manage to get level 3 Shadow, Shadow Hunter early this time. He went for such aggressive plays to keep the Keeper down, and obviously getting two kills. But at the end of the day, the Shadow Hunter needs levels in order to function. Yes. Whereas the Keeper just needs level 2, and he's kind of good. Yeah. But also the oh. thing is, uh, he has the expansion in the back, so he starts to pump uh, more food faster and faster. It may actually upset. Oh, Dryad going down to the creeps. Also Trunk being forced into using the health potion there against the Rock Golem, who decided to throw one of his cheeky boulders right into his face. And here comes Scars with four raiders at disposal. Ooh. Beautiful staff dodge though coming out of Trunks right now. But a few units I think are going to go down, unfortunately, to the raider and snares. 
Thorns Aura feels like has to work overtime right now in order yes. to, to take care of the damage coming out from these Blade Masters. The trouble for Scars in this particular situation, he doesn't have any healing whatsoever. There is no sustain in this army. We don't have Spirit Walkers like last game. We don't have Heal Wave like last game, and thus True. the Orc is entirely reliant on using consumables to keep his army alive, yeah. uh, which isn't really the easiest, it has to be said. Yeah, but I think it's uh, all the all for him to buy time, because we can see he's already building a Torrent Tomb, so he's going to Orcers eventually. So it's like maybe like a giant push to try to more time, but by the way, uh, Trunks as well has the expansion. So it's uh, very nice. Well, for Tung, it's like a saving grace at this point. I'm not sure how I feel about this particular push from Scars right now. That was, yeah, you know... Ever commitment. It was a little bit of an overcommitment. We saw a lot of damage coming out on the Raiders. The Demon Hunter didn't die in the end, actually hitting yeah. level 5, and now we have level 3 emulation mm. unlocked. That is massive AoE effect damage. Yes. But the problem is the Demon Hunter needs to have mana, and the Moogles are already dry. Yeah, and of course, the Elf is only tier 2, yes. so we have no rejuvenation. Um, the Elf is also kind of lacking that recovery, just as much as the Orc is. Of course, Voodoo Lounge is huge for Orc in order to keep themselves going, but they don't have that immediate fight presence with the, the Heal Wave, with the, um, with the potions, you know. The Moonwells here for, for Trunks will be kind of crucial going forward. Info Potion being bought now for the Demon Hunter, who is level 5, of course. It's and a really nice uh, shot control by Trunks, always killing yeah. the Info Potion. And uh, what we can see is like uh, Scars is getting uh, more the expansion more fortified with the towers, reinforced defenses, and uh, armor upgrades for the units. The Murgo Marauder here, the level 6 creep, drops pretty nice items like Book of the Dead and Wand of the Wind, and it feels like both players have to fight over this camp. Yes. But it's going to be tricky for Scars, actually. His army was looking kind of bruised before the engagement. We have so many Triads available for Trunks, which is great because the Dispel, or well, we should research Dispel, is coming momentarily. We'll get rid of those illusions, feed more experience. And, you know, we, oh, if we see a level 6 Demon Hunter in our first series here, that would be pretty epic. Yeah, it's a good thing by Trunks, he got uh, Healing Ward, so he can uh, heal easily for free. It's a uh, pretty good value item. Yeah. Separate boards in the background here going absolutely nuts on those drives. I love the yeah. attention from Scars here to keep the drives ensnared, focus fire them down with the wards at all times to make sure that they die. A beautiful surround at the same time here on the keeper, but he does have a teleport and the staff chooses to use the teleport, which I think is a reasonable decision here. I, I think it's like a big win for Trunks, mostly because he got level 3 keeper. So it means, oh, he actually got uh, level 2 entangle, not aura. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how I feel about that decision, honestly. That feels like the 30% the uh, melee damage return would have been huge, whereas yeah, the Entangle it's... gets dispelled regardless of what level it is, yes. so continuing to level it doesn't feel very impactful in most fights. Yes, but also the effects like uh, Keeper has no mana, it's always have effect, and Keeper is out of mana, it's mm -hmm. like Entangle's can uh, no play then. Um, maybe he's banking to get the level 4 Keeper from this camp. Well, if you want level 4 Keeper, I mean, creeping with both heroes is obviously going to yeah. kind of delay that a lot, but at the same time, Trunks needs the Demon Hunter in order to creep any camps. Yeah. And Scars, he's sort of changing it up now. We've got tier 3 coming at the back, 50 supply. Oh, oh now we're going to 52, but I assume that Scars would... Oh, here we go. The Sapper's coming in. The, the two Moonwells are pretty close together. Yeah. This could be huge if both go down right yeah. now. TP coming in, but this... Oh, the Sapper connected on both oh. Moonwells. In the meantime, the Hunter Soul was also a little bit of danger. Oh, the Trax's army feels really small right now. We've only got five Dryads, four Dryads, I think, actually. There we go, five. And a few more coming out as well. But now Trunks is crucially supply blocked at kind of the worst moment here. It feels like he needs to get something done, being tier two for so long. And I wonder if he's even aware if the Orc is going to tier three right now. Uh, I don't think so, but he maybe has like an idea behind his, uh, his head because he sees Orc has like pretty stable uh, game now, so he why should not go tier three? There's a lot of benefits. Or third hero, the Venom Spear is more upgrades. It's only benefits for the Orc there. Especially with the expansion, he can afford more easily. Yeah, Orc tier three. It's one of those 
um, situations that we don't see arise that often. It's really, really powerful when you can get it online. Uh, but the trouble is, Orcus usually forced into staying 2 2 quite a lot, especially against Elf. But if it comes online, I think we might see some uh, burning oil demolishers, which is going to be pretty fun. Yeah, it uh, looks like it's coming. Trunks trying to do a little bit of damage to the expansion. You're getting two peons for his troubles, but losing a dryad in the process. I think he can be quite happy with that. He has tons of gold available. I would say it's a bad trade, especially when you we see like Scars already has 60 food and Trunks is uh, below 50. And it looks like uh, Scars is looking for a fight now. And we see from the army from Trunks, oh, there's no army. Man. This is definitely not where you want to find yeah. yourself right now is the Knight of running into the Orc blindly and those Raiders obviously going to punish immediately. I like the Hex immediately on the Demon Hunter as well. Keeper stepping forward for a little bit there. The Entangle comes out, probably not going to do too much of the immediate dispel there from Scars, yeah. very nice. A few Wind Riders as well. We have so much piercing damage and siege damage against these Dryads who take extra damage from both. Nice uh, Wisp usage by Trunks though to get rid of a little bit of the Spirit Link, some mana and of course crucially the Illusions. Uh, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to keep his defense alive here. Trunks with so many resources at his disposal, nearly 2,000 gold. <laughs> but not able to spend it, trying to go for that 2-3 tech in the end. I'm not sure it's going to work out for him. TP into the base as well. The Keeper, 168 crit, oh, goes God. down against the level 5. Blade Master now. Oh, this might be level... It's level 3 illusions. We have 4 illusions going right now. The Demon Hunter just dies oh, at the back game. as well. That's sad. GG from Scars. <laughs> against his countryman there, Trunks. Yeah, indeed.